Hey guys, I'm here at CES 2024 in Las Vegas. This has all the big new TV releases for the year, and I've seen most of them. They're huge, some of them are transparent. There's some crazy tech out there. We're gonna get right to it with the best TVs of CES 2024. So one of the coolest TVs that I saw at this show is actually a see-through television. This is LG's transparent OLED TV. Now, we've seen some transparent TVs before. They look cool, but they always seem like they're more for digital signage or stores. LG's newest incarnation is the first one that's actually gonna be sold to consumers as opposed to businesses later this year. The idea is that you can see through the display. It's a 77 inch OLED, but that allows it to blend into a room and kind of disappear when it's not on. And when you want to watch TV, this black film kind of rises up from the bottom of the TV and makes it look like a regular television. Now, of course, not really the most useful thing, but for a design perspective, really, really cool. That's what makes it one of the best TVs of CES 2024. Now, one thing that I really don't love about TV sometimes is the glare. Samsung's glare-free OLED TV does a really good job of cutting that glare down. I actually got to check it out in Samsung's booth. This is shipping on their highest end S95D OLED televisions. Really great TV uh, based on my performance uh, review from last year, but now they've added this glare-free screen coating. So the idea is to reduce reflections from in-room lighting, windows, that sort of thing. And you can really see it in the image. The side-by-side -side comparison I showed, really the light did not show up all that well at all. So really cool to see that glare-free OLED TV. Next up is a huge TV. This is the TCL 115 inch mini LED TV. This thing is really big and really bright. That's 5,000 nits of peak brightness, 20,000 local dimming zones, thanks to that mini LED backlight. This thing is gonna cost 20 grand. Now, that's a lot of money, of course, but for a really, really large screen, it's not super duper expensive. And again, this thing is gonna be available in the mass market at places like Best Buy later this year. And of course, Hisense, TCL's direct competitor, also has a really, really large TV. This thing's even brighter. This is a 110 inch mini LED TV that's twice as bright, 10,000 nits. These guys are both pushing the limits of LED LCD technology. Again, with that huge screen size, all those local dimming zones, the Hisense has 40,000 of them. So I expect really, really good picture quality. No price on this one yet, but again, it's gonna be really, really expensive. Next up is another transparent display. This one's from Samsung. Now, this is not a real product. It's a concept product. This is transparent mini LED. The reason I like it is because it takes that transparent display tech to another level. It's brighter, it's easier to see through. We haven't seen this again on any products yet, but if you want a transparent display to kind of, again, one up that transparent OLED that we looked at at the beginning, this is the one. Moving on, there's the TCL QM851 series. This is actually the successor to my favorite TV right now, the QM850. What TCL did is they basically doubled the brightness and they added more local dimming zones, so I expect better picture quality, but they kept the same price. So right now you can get an 850 for around $900, a 65 inch size, spectacular picture quality for the money. The QM851 next year could be even better picture for the money, so they just keep advancing that mini LED tech. LG makes mostly OLED TVs that I like, and this year they have the M4. Now this is a wireless OLED TV. They debuted the wireless TV last year, but it was a very large size, and so they're now they're stepping it down to a 65 inch size. The wireless connectivity isn't completely wireless. You still have to plug the panel into the wall, but there's a module that sits maybe 30 feet away that you can plug all your other devices into, game consoles, things like that. The other thing they did is they improved the brightness. They added a layer of brightness for this MLA technology. That makes the picture look easier even better, it's gonna be comparable to the G3 series that I reviewed last year, which I thought was the best TV I'd ever tested. Finally, it's not a TV, but I think it's really cool, so I'm gonna throw it in here anyway. This is the Samsung Premier 8K wireless projector. This thing is a ultra short throw projector, sits right up against the wall, can get 150 inches in size. And one of the things that makes it cool, A, sure it has 8K resolution, but B, it connects via, again, a wireless transmission protocol, little box across the room, sends everything to the projector itself. So just a tour de force in projection technology. Samsung hasn't put a price on it. It's gonna be really expensive. It's not really a TV, it's just a gigantic projection screen, 150 inches or larger. And that was a look at the best TVs of CES 2024. Check back on CNET for more reviews later this year.